The MSX was a standardized 8-bit computer platform from the early 1980s. Companies like Sony, Panasonic, and Philips all built machines that ran the same software. Sounds like a pipe dream, doesn't it? It was a big deal in Japan, Europe, South America, but it never really caught on in the United States. Go figure. A couple of years later, the MSX2 arrived. Better graphics, more colors, and more memory. Your old games still worked, but newer titles could take advantage of all that extra horsepower. Today, I'm going to get MSX emulation running under ESDE and EMUDEC in just a few minutes and hook you up with dozens of games to get you started. Stick around. Let's go, let's go into the world. Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. As with so many of my tutorials, we'll head over to the desktop mode first. Once there, we're going to start by downloading my helper pack. It can be pretty confusing getting all the BIOS files for the MSX series, etc. And I'm going to make your life super easy. Go to the archive.org link in the description below. Save it to your downloads folder, making sure the zip extension is preserved. It is tiny and should only take a minute or two to download, if that. Now open up Dolphin File Manager and navigate to your downloads. Right-click and extract the zip file, deleting the original archive. Let's keep things clean. You'll see a copy to emulation folder. Inside, you'll find BIOS files required for MSX emulation. ROMs contains a bunch of games, so you don't have to go looking around. We're going to copy them all over to your emulation folder, and we'll overwrite whatever's there. Poof, we are done. Let's return to gaming mode and try out the MSX emulation. Now that we're back, run ESDE. You should now see two entries for MSX and MSX2. Now, I've already scraped the media and metadata here on my Steam Deck. You might want to try some of the games out first before committing to downloading all the media for these titles. It is worth noting that unlike other popular A-bits like the Commodore 64, this has two buttons, A and B, so when you're trying out a new game, be sure to try both of them. The controls are already set up for you. D-pad is ready to roll along with those two buttons, and you can get out of the game by holding down Start and Select like most MUs do. Nice. Remember, though, the MSX line were PCs, and you may be required to access a keyboard at some point for some games. We're going to run one game from each, just to make sure it works. For MSX, we'll try out Burger Time, a favorite of one of my buddies, Chris. And I'm delighted to see not only is Retro Achievements supported, but this game actually has achievements to be had. Hey, this looks pretty good for an 8-bit machine, right? All right, that's enough of that. Let's look at MSX2. And for this, we're going to look at the acclaimed Aleste. More retro achievements too, nice. Wow, quite the bullet hell shooter. Not normally my jam, but this is pretty impressive. There are hundreds of games for this system, and I'll include a link to archive.org where I got all the starter games for you, and you can grab some other stuff you might like. Well, that's it. You are MSXing. Yes, it's a verb too. Did you own an MSX? Tell us about it in the comments below, and of course, please like, sub while you're down there. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armin Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.